It's been a bit of a struggle this morning to find a place to introduce this species to you. This is white ash. It's uh, in the genus Fraxinus, and as many of you know, a non-native insect emerald ash borer has threatened all the species in the genus Fraxinus. Like most ash, white ash has compound leaves, and they're what we call pinnately compound. Pinna means feather in Latin, so they're somewhat feather-like. They'll have a central rachis, and then they'll have leaflets on both sides, and typically a terminal leaf. This one happens to be missing. Again, 7 to 11 leaflets is common for white ash. Also, right at the base of the leaf, on the rachis or the stem of the leaf, you'll have a notch with white ash. That notch is somewhat the mirror image of where that leaf attaches to the twig, and we often use the leaf scar which again is the mirror image of the base of the leaf, to identify and to separate our ash. If it has a notch or is horseshoe shaped, that's likely to be white ash. If it's rounded or flat across the top, it's probably green ash. This twig on uh, the, green or the white ash here is still green. Uh, it will turn a gray color. It's just the fact that it's still early in the growing season and this twig has not hardened off. So we're standing here alongside a small stream on my property and I'm looking up at the crown of one of these white ash that I actually planted back in the early 2000s, probably 2001. Um, unfortunately, emerald ash borer has taken its toll on these trees and this is the only one that's still alive. Try to zoom in a little bit and you can see there is some foliage up there. And I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but there are actually fruits that are starting to form. Um, and that's common on trees that are stressed and on their way out to, to have a flush of fruit. The fruit are winged fruits, Somera, similar to maple, but they're going to be individually attached to a little stem. Fruits will be clustered together, but each one is individually attached to a stem. They're often described as oar-like in shape. I'm also looking at the tree from this angle to give you an idea of what it looks like in the winter with ash. You can see they're clearly opposite twigs, and that's a great identifying characteristic for ash in winter. This tree was planted again in about 2001, and emerald ash borer is taking its toll. I can't find any really clear D-shaped exit holes for emerald ash borer, but this is woodpecker damage. I noticed a lot of activity this winter where the uh, woodpeckers are coming after the larva of the ash, or of the emerald ash borer. Ash bark is really distinctive, typically an interlacing brown bark. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any large ash left on the property to show you that bark. Again, white ash, one of the many ash species in Ohio that's in jeopardy because of the emerald ash borer.